Good afternoon from the National Weather Service in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria here to discuss the ongoing winter storm impacting Southern California. First, let's take a look at how much precipitation we've seen over the last five days. It's been really significant. Check this out. Lido Creek, almost a foot of rain. And then here's a listing of other selected cities. You can see coastal locations two to three even more inches into the inland valleys. And the precipitation has been a maximum along our coastal mountain slopes. At higher elevations, we've seen significant snowfall here over the past five days. Impressive totals. You see here mountain high ski area, two to three feet. And there's a listing here of other significant snowfall. We have places like Arrow Bear, 20 inches. Wrightwood now just coming in at 13 inches. A lot of snow for our mountains. Something actually we haven't seen in years here now. So it's significant and it continues to fall. Let's take a look here at satellite imagery. You can see here we're looking at this cold system here now over central California. And all of this cloud cover of the water is indicative of just how cold it is. And we have bands of precipitation that are moving on shore. They have been lessening and that will continue to be the trend tonight. But the cold air is in place, so we're going to be dealing with uh, snowfall down to lower elevations than we normally see. Here is a model simulation, the American model. There's that cold trough. Another trough dives down here, affecting us Saturday. And then later, we're going to have a break, but later in the week, a trough dives out into the Pacific. That could grab some subtropical moisture spilling into Southern California, middle to latter part of next week, and we'll be watching that. So the bottom line is this active weather pattern really shows no signs of abating. And here's a look at a model simulation of what we're expecting. Uh, we're expecting the showers to continue, but they will start to diminish from north to south tonight, hanging on longest across San Diego County. Here's a look at the precipitation we expect. Areas from the coast to the valleys, generally less than a half an inch, a tenth to a quarter of an inch. The highest amounts will be along especially the west-facing mountain slopes, where a half to an inch of liquid precipitation is expected. And looking at snowfall amounts with that lowering snow level, you can see we're expecting some appreciable snow levels here throughout San Diego County. Palomar, four to six inches. Julian, two to three. And Mount Laguna, four to six. And note, we do have some light colors here through the Cajon Pass and into parts of the high desert and the Santa Ana Mountains. That's with that lowering snow level. Uh, showers moving over those areas could result in snowfall accumulating on those roadways, affecting the Cajon Pass, I-8 through San Diego County, and potentially even Highway 74 through the Santa Ana Mountains. So in summary, that cold air is moving south. Precipitation will gradually come, in, come to an end from north to south, but not before delivering snow two elevations as low as 2,000 feet. Uh, those mountain passes could be severely impacted. And then we're looking at those periods of rain, but not enough to produce flash flooding, or we don't expect any debris flows as the rainfall is lightening up here. And we have a break in the action Wednesday through Friday, and the next storm arrives and looks pretty brief, but we're watching it for Saturday. And then we're looking at the middle to latter part of next week for possibly more significant rainfall. So our weather action really does continue here. Stay informed with the latest weather forecast updates at our webpage, weather.gov slash San Diego. Stay safe out there.